If you ever tried looking up how to fold a pocket square, you're bound to discover like 100 different ways. In this video, I'm gonna show you the four classic ways to fold your pocket square. And make sure you watch till the end of this video where I will go over general tips and tricks uh, to making sure you get this right. Let's get into it. What's up, fellas? I'm Baron. This is Effortless Gent. Just so you know, there are plenty of names for these different types of folds. I'm just gonna call them whatever I typically call them in my head when I'm doing it. Also, I have a more relaxed and imperfect style when it comes to folding my pocket squares, which I personally think looks better anyway. So if you expect military level rigidity and symmetry, well, you're not gonna find that here, sorry. So let's start with the classic clean edge pocket square fold. So there are a few ways that you can achieve this, but here is what I do. So you start with an unfolded square, just like this. And I typically fold in half lengthwise, like so. And then I fold in half again from left to right. And then again, I fold in half one more time from left to right. And then right here is where you have like the edges. That's where the name comes from. It's the classic clean edge. Then I like to fold the bottom edge up just to make it easier to get into my pocket. And then from there, you just stick it right in. I call this next one the points fold or the peaks fold. First, you start with a unfolded square with the wrong side up. Now this is like the reverse side. Then you fold from one corner to the opposite corner forming a triangle. Then I bring one of these corners down here to the center peak, and I take the other corner and I bring it to the opposite side of that peak that I just folded and formed. So now you have these three peaks right here, as you can see. And I take these little wings and I fold them in, like so here. And then from there, I fold the bottom corner up. So from here, you have the perfect three peak or point fold, and you can stick this directly in your pocket, like so. Sometimes there's a variation that I do where I, this corner that I folded up here, you can kind of let it stick out from the top and then you have like an extra little bit, like another peak here. And you also have a little bit of a different pattern, which can look nice depending on the kind of pocket square you have. And then from there, you can just stick it right in your pocket. So one other variation I have with this points or peaks fold is this is kind of the easy way to do it. You can start with your pocket square uh, completely unfolded with the right side up this time. And you can basically gather from the center and you can pull until you gather the peaks all on one end. And so you have like the middle of the material here of the pocket square and then you have all the peaks on this side. And then from here, I typically fold the pinched end up and this is the end that goes into your pocket. You may have to you know, adjust it as needed so it looks neat and not too crazy like flowing out of your pocket. By the way, are you getting a lot of use out of this video so far? If you are, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. That's gonna help this video grow and get to more of the guys who need it. It also helps the Effortless Chant channel grow too, so win-win. So this next one is the poof fold or the puff fold, whatever you wanna call it. Typically, you start with the pocket square completely unfolded and then you pinch at the center and then you grab. Typically from here, what I like to do is uh, I twist the pocket square just a little bit just so it kind of holds it in place here. And then I fold this underneath. And this is the part that's gonna be showing uh, in your pocket. You wanna make sure that you adjust it so it takes up the width of your pocket as well and it stays, you know, poofy. Okay, so this last one is sort of a peak poof hybrid as I like to call it. Start with an unfolded square, of course, right side up. Pinch the center and pull about halfway. Then instead of poofing this section out, what I like to do is twist a little bit and then simply like fold in half almost. And then from there you have like a really interesting like design that's gonna go in your pocket right here. So it's part peaks and then you also have a little bit of a poof right here. And of course you're gonna have to adjust as needed when you put this in your pocket. So those are the four classic ways to fold a pocket square without the classic names because I actually don't even know what they're called. That's just how I refer to them as. So here are a few tips and takeaways when you're learning how to fold a pocket square. Tip number one, the key to a really great fold is a bigger square. You're gonna want something that's a lot bigger than your typical 12 by 12 pocket square that most places sell. So this is my biggest square. I believe this is almost 20 by 20. So you can see this is a really big square. This is the one, uh, a typical size I like to recommend. I think this is like 16 by 16 or so. 
I think 16 inches is like a good size to have because you can get like a really good fold in your square without it being too small. Now this is a, like I think a 13 by 13 square. This works for the clean edge fold and for like maybe the poof fold, it does work. I just think that if you want like a, a more voluminous, uh, you know, fold for your squares, you're gonna wanna go with something a little bit bigger because then you have a little bit more room to work with. Tip number two, you never want your fold to be too perfect in your pocket. Otherwise you start to look like a mannequin from like one of those discount department stores. It's not a good look. Don't fuss about it too much. Just do the fold the best you can and get it in your pocket and then adjust it when it's in there and then it's super easy and then boom, you're done. You don't have to worry about it too much. And if it falls in your pocket throughout the day, all you have to do is kind of just give it a little bit more life, poof it up, or if you have to just, you know, take it out do a quick refold and and then boom, like just back into your pocket. You know, you're always gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting, but I think that's okay. You know, again, you don't wanna be too precious or too perfect with it. Tip number three, don't match your tie and your pocket square material exactly the same. Like they sell those uh, matching pocket square and tie combo package things at like discount department stores. It's not a good look. Stay away from that as much as you can. All right, fellas, that's it. I hope this video helped you figure out how to fold a pocket square correctly. If you wanna learn how to tie a four in hand tie, check out this video right here. If you wanna learn how to tie a Pratt knot, check out this other video. And for more men's style tips from a chill ass Filipino dude, make sure to subscribe. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.